it's important to be able to speak well, write well, and communicate effectively. It is really the crux of how business is done and how people consume media. All human endeavors involve trying to engage somebody else in some way to share your point of view, to accomplish a task, to teach or to learn. No matter what industry that you are in, communication is the root of everything. I think communication and learning how to communicate with somebody and work with someone and work with a team and as a part of a team is so important. What separates the Harrington Hub out is it becomes a place where students who have like interests and take like classes can be together to share ideas. It's really important that we're all gathered together and really making a difference in shaping the academic experience for these kids. Just to understand and get close to and understand the issues and try to help a student in, in her last year uh, was a great experience. How do you adapt to the fields that you're in in communications, whether it's journalism or public relations uh, or film, media, whatever? How do you adapt to this technology that just whips out the door at all times? That, I think, is going to be the, the challenge for the Harrington School, and that's one that I'm confident that they will meet. There's so many majors and so many things that you can do with a degree from the Harrington School. Communication and media is so important today and will continue to be important. It's, it, it's a driver of our daily life. I expect to see the Harrington School continue to evolve, continue to adapt, not only keep up with, but hopefully over the next five or ten years, begin to shape the future of communications and media as a profession. One of the most important things that we can do is make sure that we're speaking with the students and listening to them and coming in and seeing how things are going, trying to support as much as possible. Five to ten years from now, I would like to see the Harrington School integrated into the rest of the university because all of these industries are affected uh, by digital communications and uh, are becoming digital themselves. I would like to think that the Harrington School could be ahead of the curve and help define new roles and new ideas and new missions for students as well as faculty alike. The students that are in the school are going to be able to help the university in so many ways just by what they're learning and what they're applying through their daily studies. I think the most gratifying thing about it today is how much it looks like the original thinking about what it could be and how folks have really uh, rallied to put it together and make it everything it can be and put it in a situation to improve the world. And learning doesn't happen in a square box. It happens when you're exposed to the entire world and you've got such incredible partners related to the Harrington School that there's all the access in the world that you could possibly need to make this program just soar.